Hi YouTube subscribers, hi YouTube world. Um, I did want to make a couple videos. Um, so first of all, I did want to talk about the recent um, big headline news story, which has to do with a young woman, uh, if you haven't heard about, her name was Molly Tibbetts, and she was murdered uh, one afternoon recently while she just was going for a run in a safe neighborhood um, by a stranger, by a strange male. And um, <clears throat> he had been following her with his vehicle, allegedly, and it sounds like he was harassing her and she had threatened him that she was going to call the police if he didn't stop and then I guess from there I don't know what happened, but eventually she was murdered and put into his vehicle. So the reason why this news story really upsets me, um, other than this horrible tragedy that it is, um, is the fact that I feel like almost all females can probably relate to the story in a ways. And what I mean by that is I don't know of a female friend or a female co-worker or just a female relative, any female really, who hasn't been harassed by just going outside and walking, walking their dog, running, jogging, riding their bike. Um, it's something as a female that's something we have to worry about and fear for our safety every time we go outside even if we're just going around our neighborhood or we live in a safe area, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to make another video detailing my own, like, I guess traumatic story about how I was kidnapped one time um, in a safe neighborhood. And I want to make that video not only to warn other females but bring attention to... Um, how this can really happen to anyone and um, why we need to be careful and why um, there need to be more strict laws regarding um, kidnapping. And the reason why I make this video is because I want there to be a change and I want um, people to realize that it's not okay to harass females um, when we're just going for a walk, going for a jog. Um, we do not see it as like flattering or um, appre we don't appreciate it. And I think some men think that, oh, we're they're just paying a compliment to us. But it's really scary when you've had people um, do this to you your whole life basically as a female and you don't know what their intent is behind it, especially if you're by yourself um, or you're somewhere you're not familiar with. We don't know what you mean by those harmless comments or whatever. Um, so I just hope that more men will stop whistling, will stop honking their vehicles, will stop calling us names, and will stop following us because it really is scary. Um, it's very frightening if you were on the other end, if this is something you've had to deal with all your life. Because I know for myself and for many others, this has been happening since I was a teenager, like um, being harassed. And that's what it is. And we don't allow sexual harassment in the workplace. So I don't know why um, men in particular think it's okay to harass females out in public because that's that's really what it is um it's harassing and we don't appreciate it and I hope that that stops and I hope that that's something that we learn from that horrible tragedy is that uh, we need to treat women better um, in public we shouldn't be scared to walk our dogs or go for a jog um, without some form of harassment happening to us. So um, I think that's like a bigger issue that's being missed in this whole 
Molly Tibbetts case that I really wish would get more focus is in the fact of why are women still not safe to go walking, to go running, to do normal things? Like, why is that still an issue in 2018? And what can we do to change the mindset and culture surrounding how women are treated, especially when they're alone in public? But I've also been harassed when I've been with other people. I've also been harassed when there were men witnessing it and I mean stranger men but they didn't stop like try to stop it and I wish that we would learn to call it out when it does happen and say that's not how you treat a woman so um that's my take on it and if you guys can relate or if you've been harassed or followed I know I have several stories like that um, please leave me comments below so that people can become more aware of this bigger issue that's still going on um, today. Okay, so please leave me comments. Don't forget to like this video if you did and please subscribe. Till next time. Bye guys.